All right, so we're in really light conditions, and uh, we've been motoring all night. We're gonna try and do something about that. Mains down. We're gonna put up just the big uh, asymmetrical spinnaker by itself, and hopefully that'll drag us along at four or five or six knots in six or seven knots of breeze. So I just wanted to go through the setup of how the, how we rig it up on this boat for people that have never rigged one up before. Um, spinnakers contained inside of the turtle bag, and it's inside of the sock in the turtle bag. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, this is the tack line, this green line coming up. It goes all the way back to the cabin. It comes up here. It runs through this goofy rigmarole that isn't really necessary. It goes out to the end of a bowsprit and then comes back to a uh, Tylaska shackle that can be released under load. That's very important and you'll see why when we take it down. And over here we have the spin sheet. And uh, I'm only going to use one spin sheet on this because we're hoisting it with a sock and jibing with a sock is very difficult. It's easier to just take it all down, put it over the other side, then put it back up. Uh, a lot of times if you jive with a sock, the bucket on the sock gets caught up at the top of the mast and then you find yourself going up the rig at 3 in the morning to try and get your spinnaker down, and that's not fun. Okay, so inside of the turtle bag, we have our spinnaker. This is the bucket I'm talking about getting stuck. And then we go and we find the head. Okay. The head goes here on the spinnaker halyard. And uh, the important thing, the very important thing, is to make sure that everything is done outside of your jib sheet. And the reason you do that is because if you really have problems, you can always pull your jib out and shadow the spinnaker, just like if you were racing, you need to drop it that way. So that guy gets clipped on, good and secure. The bag's clipped on. Then we gotta find the tack line and the clue. So they're good and labeled. This is the clue. It goes on here. Make sure all the lines are clear. And this is the tack line. Or the tack. Which we hook up to the tack line. I'm going to yell back some orders to the guy back in the pit, and uh, we're going to get this ready. So, pre-feed tack line. So when I yell that, he pulls this in, so it pulls the tack line down to the front of the boat. That's good. So then he has to make the sheet. Otherwise, whenever we let this out, the spinner girl just flies. The sheet made. Okay, lock it down. And then next is the hoist. Okay, go ahead and hoist. So the spinnaker just goes up in this sock in this bag. And he takes it all the way to the top. Good. Okay. Now, look at it just like this. I have a feeling there's an hourglass in here, though. So let's hope not. So now, whenever I open, whenever I pull this cord, I can pull it faster than he can raise it since we're just two people. So the idea is I pull this up, and it's like uh, opening the drapes. Except it's not. Pull your sheet. Trim. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's got a lot of glass in it. So we are lucky. The hourglass worked its way out. To try and deal with it. So there you go. 1,250 square feet of sail.
So if you remember, the other day, like two weeks ago probably, I showed you how to put the spinnaker up using the sock and everything else that you might use for cruising. Well, it's time to finally take it down, so I'm going to show you how to take it down. Once I got my line ready, it goes up to the bucket. It's pretty straightforward. All I got to do is walk up and trip the tack line. I come up here, we got Tylaska shackle to be released under load. So I let that go. She just goes up there like a flag. And all I gotta do is pull the sock in because there's no load left on it. It's pretty straightforward. Even though it's really calm conditions out here right now, whenever it's blowing pretty good, you can still do that. So then the next thing we do, get her all out of the water. And I take the tack line in this case is here, and I put that on one end of the bag, and then I come back here, and we got the clue, the clue goes on the other end of the bag, velcroed in like that, and now I just got to lower this down and feed it in, and the head will get tied in in the middle. This keeps it from getting all tangled up. Makes it really easy to launch next time. Okay, Matthew, we can go ahead and bring it down. Okay, so now that we got it down, we take the halyard and we dress it off. Tell the guy in the back of the boat, Halyard's made, Matthew. And he tightens that up. We take the head. And I just put it through here. Keep from getting lost. And then I can close the bag up. I've got the furling line. Spinnaker's now nicely put away. Whenever I'm ready to go again, tack line, clue, head, and I can just bring it right out of the bag and launch it again tomorrow morning. That's it. Good.